All right, welcome back to Rayman 3, going on episode 5. We just cleared through uh, the land of the living dead. And here we're picking up the orange combat fatigue. So we can take out these hoodlums, jump through the light, whoops, jump through the light, and visit the doctor. So, we're going to spend a minute doing that. This uh, next trip to the doctor will be good, I promise. Treated to another musical score. Okay, there's got to be one more hook. There he is. Cool. That ought to do it. Oops. There we go. Alright, let's jump in. Uh, no, no, no way I'm going back there. Nope, that doctor gives me the creeps. Ah! Raven, wait! Dude, still in bed? Well, must have been a late night. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> My colleague explained everything. <laughs> wow, seems like you swallowed a black lum. Major mm. bummer. <laughs> you see, black lums reproduce mm. like some kind of mm. crazy weed. <laughs> They're really wacky. <laughs> Let's see if we can, mm. uh, you know... Hook you up with something to take the pain away, huh? How's that sound? <laughs> Hold on a sec here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. can be done. The black lum has like totally lodged himself in your brain, see? And the problem is, I can't find it. But I know a guy who can help you. He's like a specialist in like hollow cavities, and he lives in the desert of the Canarin. Well, gotta go. Need to go water my plants. Needs to go water his plants. I wonder what kind of plants. Okay, Disco Fever. We're just gonna get all the points. Get as many points as we can. So the Desert of the Panarin coming up. Oops. So the Desert of the Canarin coming up is a particularly tricky area. The Canarin are very strong and very spooky. Uh, the area is probably the most maze-like. Whoops. The area is probably the most maze-like in the game. And that is going to give us some trouble. But I'm confident that we can get through it. Most challenging disco fever so far. But I love the eye. It's so cool. Oh my god. 
Oh. There we go, finally. Big money. Swag. All right, that went pretty well, actually. Okay, so this is the Desert of the Canarin. And this is going to set the tone for how the rest of this level is going to be. So we can't touch the sand here. It's too hot. It's just a generally unfriendly place here. Totally not creepy at all, just going down this big skull. Okay, so we have to find our way through hey, Glowbox, this lava pit here. One final request? Find me some plum juice, please. Perfect, so there's some plum juice right there. Okay, so let's make our way through. And there's a specific path that we're gonna take to get through this place. The Desert of the Canarin was uh, definitely the hardest place for me as a little kid. Definitely the spookiest area in the game. So, as an adult here, it shouldn't give me any trouble. Can I avoid those hoodlums? points and then keep on climbing. Okay, so this is kind of a tricky rope swing here. Things want to go wrong all the time. Like why can't I not grab on to this? Please let me grab onto it. 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 Come on. Oh man. Just stuff like this. Perfect. Okay. Help. There we go. So then we will wait for the orange combat fatigue to expire. And then we can jump. If you want to cross the desert, you need to use the tunnels. But it won't be easy. The tunnels are swarming with Canarin, and those beasts are invincible. Yeah, well, you got a better idea? You bet your bet a dollar I do. Okay, listen closely, Big Nose. Do not let the Canarin get near you. You understand? Never! If they get their claws on you, you're dead. Well, it was a nice knowing ya! Okay, so for obvious reasons, we don't want to get near the Canarin. But they are going to chase us and antagonize us. And 
they are going to be quite unfriendly. So, we'll try our best. We'll see what we can do. So we'll come in here and we'll wait for Glowbox. And we will fall down into the tunnels. And there's a Canarin right there. And this is the point where I put down this game for a long time. Because the Canarin were very spooky monsters. And they were coming to get me. And, like, I don't know, 10-year-old me didn't like that. So we're just going to run right past this Canarin. Yeah, and they would say spooky stuff like that. Tear off his flesh. So, Canera will run over and he'll hit this gong, which will become important in a minute. Of course, they shriek loud. And, uh, yeah, that didn't sit well with me. And then, of course, we're face to face. You step out here, and this thing is coming after you! Okay, so there's the orange combat fatigue down here. And then what we can do is there's that canary in there. If we ring this gong, the canary will come running over. And then that'll clear that pathway, which is where we need to go. We're also going to get this Tinsy here. I have to get Grandpa his sponge bag. So, we will launch, bring the gong, the canary will be distracted, then we jump up this side, not the other side, get the combat fatigue, come running up, hit this thing, hopefully beat the canary around the corner, which we do, and then we jump down here, and we are safe. Oh, actually, we're not safe. We have to put a melon down here. And there are these spooky ghosts that come over here. And young me, once again, didn't like spooky ghosts. So this area just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Uh, these ghosts, they are on a timer. But they will pretty much spawn infinitely. So, oops. I was going to say, so we have to set the melon down. And kill the ghosts. So now we can run over here. There's a canary down here. So we are going to ring the gong, which will give us some safety. And we have to go this way. There we go. Okay, so we have another melon here. This is a long level. I'm forgetting the color. Okay, so put a melon down over on that button, and then I that has to be like the end. It's quite a long level. I think we have one more round of spooky ghosts. Yeah. Oh, there's four of them this time. One more? Yes. Hopefully we can set it down this time. Alright. Very cool. Yeah, that'll be the end. Oh, low score. That's okay with me. Okay, perfect. So we're here in the central Canarin chamber. There's a corkscrew over here. There's a ramp over here. And there's spooky music once again. So what we have to do is we have to attract the Canarin. And we can't hurt them. You'll see that they have a shield. I can't look at Come on. Whatever. But they have a shield. And, uh... 
Yeah, they're invulnerable. So, we're gonna bait a Canarin to come over here and stand on this platform. These Canarin move quite slow. Usually the Canarin move a little bit quicker than this. Stick bamboo under his nails. Okay, easy enough. So, now these platforms are moving. So we can run over here. And we can get going. So there's an optional Tinsy in this room as well. Which I think we're going to get. Hopefully I can grab it. Nope. Whatever. We'll take that health upgrade as well. And then we'll take this green combat fatigue. We'll jump all the way down. Run to the other side of the room here. Get this spiral. Perfect. That is going to give us big money. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Huge. Huge money. Very cool. Okay. So now we will reset. What would a 3D platformer be without random floating platforms, right? Okay, now we will use the yellow combat fatigue to fly up, and that'll be that. So, here we are in the next uh, section of Desert of the Canarin. We could go this way here. And uh, if we hop over there, we can see that there's that pack of Canarin, and they will come after us. So, we're going to go around them. We're going to jump up here. Oh, come on, there, man. Yep, we're going to jump up here. And then we are going to go around them. Very nice. And all of these platforms are so convenient for us. Gems. Perfect. Hey, 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 guys. I mean, don't you feel guilty about ganging up on a guy when he's all alone? No. Oh. Why? Well, do you? Okay. No, 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 no. Of course not. What, what so we're here I in the next thinking? section, and this is where the Desert of the Canarin starts to become a little bit maze-like. But um, there's a few things we can do. So this Canarin is blocking that blue combat fatigue. And over here, there's going to be a hook. So we somehow need to get that Canarin away from the blue combat fatigue. So what we can do is we can come over here and we can jump down and then right there is the rocket combat fatigue. So we can whoops. So we can launch and hit the gong. 
the Canarin will run over here. We'll come down over here and get this yellow combat fatigue. We'll ignore the ghosts. Ignoring the ghosts. And then while the Canarin is distracted, we come over here. Get the blue combat fatigue. And then we move along. Spit in his eye. Also, if we fall down, there's a, uh, there's various pathways that we can go. Oh, run away. Run away. Run away. Okay. There's, uh, various pathways that we can climb to get back up here. Skin him. Okay, so we are safely away from the Canarin, and now we can move on. So, let's jump down here. And we'll get this team. Very good, thank you. Okay, so let's move along. Help. All right, so we have this My tower. Dad is stronger than your dad. <laughs> no way. My dad's stronger than your dad. I heard his friend say that he can even pick up a dog. <sighs> Would you guys please stop talking about your dads? Canarin are weird. Okay, so we're picking this yellow combat fatigue. We're not this yellow one, this orange one. We'll hit this Tinsy. This next set here, you kind of have to be careful. So there's that little gap. I'm gonna canary and pass this way. We'll hide in that gap. We have to be careful not to get too close to them and alert them. Okay. So we're hidden, we should be safe. Very good. Right bad checks. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh dear. Oh, this is really bad. Little grasshopper, one must never let the canarins get near you. Capish? Never. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, that still worked somehow. Miraculously. section. Yeah, not great. That's all right, though. Okay, so if we try and go this way, it seems like there's nothing. If we try and go this way, Ooh, there's that shaky platform, and a bunch of Canarin are coming, so we will turn around, and there's a bunch of Canarin over there too. So we're completely trapped here. Uh, if we try and run over here and jump on that platform, I'm not sure we can make it, and 
turns out that there's a canary in there anyway, so we're going to have a hard time. So we're down here in this uh, canary crypt. And I think this will be the final stage here. So what we can do is we can do a uh, long roundabout of falling down or we can pick up this melon and go the right way the first time. So certain little platforms will fall, so we'll just take the correct pathway. Very easy. Phew. Okay. Ooh, hello. Okay, so we'll run. And then there's a Hidden room. Ooh, there we go. So instead of going that way, we will turn and go this way. And then we will get glorious extra points all around. Oh yeah. Big money. So now we're back here at the beginning. I have to go potty train my aunt eater. Potty train his aunt eater. Kinnern are going to swarm us here. We're going to meet the boss here. This is Reflux. He has some kind of interesting music. So what he does is he spins around here, and then he gets tired, and then he does this like crazy lightning attack. So we come over here, jump on the side, try to avoid these things, pick up the uh, red combat fatigue, and hit 
the uh, staff here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So he'll do this other uh, lightning kind of attack. Or excuse me, he won't do a lightning attack, but he'll do this kind of attack here. And he will like, launch orbs at us. So, more of the same. It's just doing this kind of the same mechanical. As you can see, he has quite a bit of health too. So, this fight is going to be Okay, so like I said, Rayflux here, he's entering a new phase, so now there are the burning spots on the ground, and back to the down to it here. I'm gonna get some more health. Last hit. Definitely last hit. Last hit. Very cool. Okay, perfect. So we have been given the power of Leptus. Now what does that do exactly? Wow. I you wonder what kind are about to see. So let's get these points. I hear a hoodlum. So let's finish gathering these points here and then we'll take them out. Now I've made it a point to say that every time you kill a hoodlum, a black lung spawns. 
over here will kill this hoodlum. And then there's that black one, but you can see he hangs around now. So what we can do is we can hit X. And then the black lum will turn into a red lum, which gives us health. The Tetris gave you the power to turn black lums into red ones. Incredible. So, yep, now we have the ability, which is this. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so let's move along here. And we will visit the doctor. This is going to be kind of a long video, I'm sorry about that. But, that's okay. Just at the end of this little section We have these guys here, and they are quite annoying. It's the same idea as the other uh, flying hoodlums that we've seen. So we'll just lock on, do our best to avoid the fire. We'll just knock them out. So there's one down. Pick up some help. Come on. doing a very bad job fighting. Please lock on. Hello? Hello? Oh my lord. Please! Okay. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Alright. And then hopefully, uh, that Tinsy there will give us... A red combat fatigue so that we can knock out that hard hitter game. just doesn't end. Finally. You gotta be kidding. actually go to the doctor.
more science to this. Real gamer. Sun, a very tense rockery. I know how to drive out a negative energy. No, I'm not coming out. I learned to have a little vague orders. Oh, yeah, let's see about that. At all, I'm thinking your other Romeo. stuff. Could you please hurry up? Group therapy. Groovy. I totally dig those. <laughs> wow. Ready? So far. If he finds the energy to multiply, all is lost. Exactly. Okay, so you heard him steal the scepter from the king, and that will uh, give him the energy to multiply. And have stolen the scepter from Kumzi, the child king of the Knarren. Like they're going to invoke the Leptis and gain unimaginable powers, dude. Ah, this door leads to a shortcut that will allow you to catch up with them. Now hurry! Okay, I think that is going to be a good place to stop here at the longest shortcut. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Anytime the world needs saving, nobody's around. Good thing we are. As if we had time for this. <laughs>